Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak and we are back on Beaver Creek doing some mowing. That's right. Bringing in the hay. We're going to get that hay dryer up and running. I've already mowed the little field over by the farm and we're doing this. Uh, it kind of looks a little different because <laughs> the grass changed colors and I didn't know... I knew... I knew there were some color changes on the map. I didn't know that the planted grass changed color, but it does. And it's kind of this like ambery brown color. But when we cut it, it turns green. <laughs> but that's what's going on. We got to get the grass cut and put up. Um, that's pretty much the big job. Everything's going great here on the farm. Been working. I've got some some stuff I've been working on. I've been clearing some trees. I don't know what I'm going to do with the cleared area, but we're going to do something with it. Haven't quite decided yet. We're running our coon mower and this little uh, this little Vicon mower. I was going to get a big, you know, forage harvester. And I was going to get some other stuff, but I just didn't see that being too realistic for our little sheep farm. And I just, I think I want to do everything on this sheep farm with this one tractor. And I, because I really think in real life, that's probably how it would be. I mean, a farm this size, I think you're just going to, going to have the one tractor. It's 140 horse. It's doing the job for us gets the job done so not really not really in the market for anything different I, mean, I would like some big fancy stuff but we'll stick with the semi-realistic let's play because we still want to have fun it's still definitely want to have fun hope my voice is okay I'm fighting a cold, um, which is really frustrating, because last night I went to bed and I felt fine, and this morning I woke up and I'm like, ugh, feel kind of cruddy, so I dropped some, I got some medicine, had a couple cough drops, drinking my coffee, hopefully I'll feel better as time goes on, hoping so. I'm happy to get this field mode, happy to be moving along, it is late autumn as you can see up there in the top. Things are progressing well on our little cheap hay farm here. I like the color transitions. So if you haven't seen this map yet, we'll stop here real quick. Um, you see the trees actually change color. There's a different texture through late, late autumn, winter, early spring. They have like this frosted look to them, which I think is really cool. And of course the bushes change color and uh, this changes color and like the trees that change color and things of that nature I added those in but I made sure I had seasons trees so that they would change color the only thing that I that I put in that doesn't change color some of the bushes stay green but that's okay we'll call those evergreens or something I don't know <laughs> but other than that I'm real happy the way it turned out we're not done yet I love this map. I'm having a lot of fun on this map. Um, I'm just it, it really has me pulled in. So I'm just going to keep playing it. Just keep expanding. Hopefully you watched uh, episode 12 and a half. If you haven't, I would recommend go checking it out. Just a little build. A little, little five minute video of me building out um, a little beekeeper area. Somewhere we clear. Just it's more for decoration purposes than anything else. It does give us a little money. Um, but it's more for just decoration. Just to kind of make things look more alive on the map. I guess is my goal. Look what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drive straight through. That's what we're going to do. We'll come back and clean this up here in a minute. I'm going to drive straight through here. Then we're going we're gonna to wind row this up gonna grab a loading wagon the small field I think I'm gonna leave and let dry and bale it up uh, that way we have a few bales I don't know really 
if it matters, but I have the baler, so and I like I like doing grass work. It's one of my uh, more favorite things to do. Farm sim, some grass work. So let's get a some straight edges here, so we can sit back, relax, and farm. The only thing with these offset mowers is it's really hard to lay down uh, a guidance like a GPS course. I tried a little and it just keeps going haywire but that's okay. I'll freehand it because that's what I do. Alright. What's new in the world of farm sim? I have no idea. I worked a lot this weekend and uh, haven't been able to keep up very much. So I really don't know what's going on in the world of farm sim. In my world, I ordered, it'll be here tomorrow, a wheel and a pedal set for the computer here. I'm so excited. So excited. I get to get a wheel. Because uh, I've been playing with the, you know, a st steering wheel. Or a steering wheel. Keyboard and mouse. Sorry, I'm kind of still kind of out of it. A little loopy here. Alright. Almost done with this corner. And I think once we get this kind of squared up, what I'll do is I'll time lapse the rest of it. Because I'm pretty sure you guys know how this works. You mow the grass. And that's it. Let's get this little section right here. Just because of our, my OCD here. Boom. But I really... <laughs> I know the color is weird, but oddly satisfying the the change. For me it is. It's different. But tell me what you guys think about keeping the same tractor. Um, I just think that, that for this area on the map, that's what we'll do. Uh, plans, future plans going forward. I think I might put in like a little horse area. Thought about doing that uh, because we have the hay. And then we just can grow just a tiny little field for oats. Or we can just buy the oats. I haven't decided yet. I really, really think I'm going to get into potatoes. Because there's some really cool potato mods out. There's like potato washers. And there's some really good storage buildings and equipment. And I, I really haven't played uh, with root crops in 19 very much. And that, that's kind of what I'm trying to do is to do stuff that I haven't been able to do a whole lot. It's kind of part of this series. And uh, just to try different things out and do different things. So that's probably what we're going to get into is that cleared area over in the middle of the map uh, right here. We're going to make that like a potato, potato farm. Maybe even potatoes and sugar beets. But pro for sure potatoes. I don't know about sugar beets. I know for sure potatoes, that's what we'll do. And uh, that's probably what we're going to do going forward there. Getting late in the day. We don't have any rain. I didn't even check the weather. Now we're good. Uh oh, snow on Sunday. Better get this hay in. Better get to work. It's not the best time for drying, but that's okay because we have that big green building over there to do our drying. All right, folks, what I'll do is I'll get this time lapsed up and uh, knock out mowing this real quick. And then from there, I don't even think we're going to time lapse it. I'm just going to finish mowing this off screen. And then when we're done mowing it, uh, we'll be back on to the next step. All right, see you in just a second. Well, we have finished up mowing. And now we're just wind rowing. Getting everything teed up for the loading wagon. Haven't decided on what loading wagon I want. Can't go too big because we only have 140 horsepower to work. 140 horsepower. Horsepower. 140 horsepower to work with. So we're going to have to um, be conservative in the size that we go with. getting a little late in the day. I doubt we're going to get this picked up today because it is 6 p.m. and this will take me a little bit 
to get Wind Road. Let's see, let's just kind of pick that up. I got the GPS enabled. I just have the lines turned off right now. Because I really don't, really don't need them. This right here, we're probably going to have to... Oh, did I turn it off? Perfect. I don't know. Does anyone else find grass work relaxing? It's relaxing to me. This this game itself is relaxing to me, but I don't know. Something about grass work. You know, mowing, tedding, wind rowing, all that stuff. I, I just really like doing it. I enjoy it. It's probably one of my more enjoyable things about farm sim. I like harvesting. Harvesting's fun. I like pl actually I like all of it. But well, who am I kidding? I love the game. I love playing the game. The wind is just a whipping. And I looked at the weather. Oh, wrong button. Um, we have wind speeds, uh, seventeen point seven meter. I guess that's meters per second. That can't be meters per second. That'd be crazy. I'm not quite sure how to read that. M slash S. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna, it's going to be pretty windy um, for the next couple days, which is great because uh, it'll help with drying the hay a bit, drying down. Let's see. All right. Yeah, that's a that's the plan here. To get this wind road, we get we'll get it all lined up. And then we'll decide on a loading wagon. And go from there. What else have I been, what I've been doing? So like I said, I built the little beekeeper area over here. And then I've been cleaning this area out right here. And then I put a road right through here. Which I'll show you. I'll show you later. Um, but I put a road through here. This, I'm not quite sure. That's what I thought about maybe putting like a horse area. I'm thinking about planting poplar here. I don't know. Because I want to use that bio baler from Anderson. I've used it just a little. But I would like to use it more. Um, because, well, I paid for it. <laughs> I paid for the DLC. I want to use it. That's why I'm using the cloth stuff as much as I can and um, like I said the Anderson stuff and speaking of DLCs if you if you have Facebook search for creative mesh on Facebook and you will find the people that are developing the straw harvest add-on for FS19 pictures look great features look pretty cool uh, real similar to I think 17 but I think, uh, like, the actual workshop itself, you have crane controls, and you can build pallets and things like that. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. And this is kind of what this whole setup here is going to be. This is going to be kind of our, our hay farm, where I would like to get into using that straw harvest. At least that's my goal. Excuse me, sorry. I had a big yawn there. I thought I muted it, but I didn't. All right. I think on this pass, I'll cut away, and we'll get this uh, all wind road. It's pretty, pretty decent size amount of uh, grass. Let's see, we can actually look. Is there a mode? Plowed, sown, fertilized. Cultivate. It's about 20 acres. 20 acres of uh, plowed grant ground, so it's quite a quite a bit of hay. Not tons, but plenty for our little sheep farm. All right, enough rambling. I'll get this knocked out, and we'll move on to the next step. See you in just a second. Well, everybody, it is a new day, and it rained overnight, 
so we're just going to pick up this grass. I was going to let this dry and bale this as hay, but I don't I don't know with the weather. I looked at the weather. It's supposed to snow uh, tomorrow, and then, like I said, it rained now, so we have wet or wet crop, and I don't want to lose any more of this to rot and other stuff, so we're going to get it off the field and use our fancy dancy dryer. That's what we're going to do. I grabbed this Pottinger uh, mod. Everything else just kind of felt too big. Seems right. I don't know. I could have went with this one, which is about the same size, but oh, I like this. I like the way it looks. I think it fits. It fits the farm. Now, it means more trips, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I torture myself. I don't worry about how many trips it takes and so forth and so on things of that nature we may still bail up some of that other field if I can get uh, if it'll if we'll turn to hay we'll see that's all we can do just kind of wait and see what happens but I fed the animals this morning first thing they're doing everything's great there really it's just getting this grass off the fields and into the dryer it's kind of our our primary step. I've got a couple full loads of timber up at the sawmill. I've been uh, anytime I don't have anything to do, I just work on logging and uh, sawmill stuff. That's kind of what fills my time when I don't have anything to do. All right, we're full. So this fancy dancy thing here, you just can't dump. So you have to go over here, and we have to turn it on. There we go. And that opens up here. So you can see it open, close, opens. So we can dump loose grass here, or alfalfa, and, or we can put grass bales here, and they feed in to the shredder, get run through this machine here, whatever's in here that does the drying. And then you can get it out of the pipe loose, or you can spawn pallets over on that side. I'm pretty sure there's square pallets that you can spawn. Pretty positive that's it. So let's back up here. I mean, we want to make sure that we're dumping in the pit, not just on the ground. There you go. That's it, and it starts drying. This, the animations are cool, especially here for the bale input. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really didn't see any other animations. <laughs> we can look inside the building. There's nothing there. It's magic. I do wish that uh, the fans... Oh, the fans do turn. I wish they put out some steam or something. It would be kind of cool. But the fans do turn. That's pretty neat. Yep, that's it. Let's see. Let's see what kind of bale we get. Spawn a pallet. Yep, so square bales. So I think what I might do is I may convert one of our bale stacks to square bales. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Thinking that's what we'll do? You never know with me. I change my mind all the time what I want to do. I like this little load wagon. Uh, this was a, I'm pretty sure this was in 17, if I remember right. It is small. It's only uh, 21,000 liters or I think it's like uh, 8 tons or something like that. 7 or 8 tons is what it holds. Because I have Harvest Master um, enabled so down there at the bottom like with this one you can pick tons or we can pick cubic feet or we can pick pounds go with tons the grass is measured in tonnage alright 
That's it with this one. This field is done. I got plenty of work to do, because I got to get the grass off the field. I need to put down some fertilizer. Now that we've mowed it, we can fertilize. I already have weeds popping up. Nasty things. But I won't. I probably won't weed until uh, in the spring. So I think those die off in the winter, I would hope. Drop back in here. I don't know how fast this stuff dries, but... Let's dry. Put our grass and a little feeder thing. This is really cool. Neat mod. I think it's neat. Let's run up here to our hay field and see how things are doing up here. I don't think it's turned to hay yet. No, it's still grass. It's all right. Just drop a bunch of it in the. Make sure that is. Yeah, it's still grass. Does it say 10% moisture? But it's it's dried grass. You can tell by the color where the other field was wet grass. So you have that going for us. There's some pretty, pretty big windrows here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Is I'll get this, um, I'll get all the grass picked up that I want to pick up. Like I said, I'm probably going to leave some of this for bales. I haven't decided yet. Decided what I do, and it may actually just turn to hay while I'm, while I'm. Picking up, and when it does turn to hay, we'll just quit picking up the grass and we'll start baling. That'd be the plan there. Then, once we get a surplus of hay, then we'll probably start turning this grass into silage bales and selling those. So that's good money in the silage. Plus, we have the bale wrapper. So, we have the equipment we need to do that. Sounds like it. So I'm going to get this grass taken care of and picked up and loaded up. And then uh, I think after that we're probably going to sell some apples because the apple trees should be done. Should be. I think the leaves fell off. So we need to make sure that the, all the apple tree stuff is done. And that's probably where we'll call the video. Oh, there's so much. I got so much stuff going on now. Uh, you know, it used to be pretty simple, but as we add things, uh, yeah, it, gets, it gets busier and busier. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll get this grass off the field, and then I'll probably, uh, we'll show you, we'll check on the apples, and then after the apples, may just do like a quick little flyover to show you kind of the edits I've made to the map. There's just been a couple since last time, and then we'll call it quits for this week. All right, everybody. Talk to you in just a second. Well, unfortunately, um, I didn't get as much grass off as I wanted before it turned to hay. So we're going to have to bale the rest of it up. I was hoping to get more of this field off, but things happen. What do you do, right? Can't, can't make it happen. The, the life of a farmer, right? You make plans, and then they just get crashed due to due to weather. Although, I mean, it's it is part of it. I think we got um. I think there was over two hundred thousand liters of grass in the um in the uh, dryer, so that's not too bad. It definitely gives us something to start with and then like I said we'll just bail the rest of this up and we'll put it in bail storage um, I'm gonna take one of those bail storages and turn it into square uh, probably the one close to the small sheep shed we're gonna make that square and then we'll uh, keep the round over here that way we can uh, 
we can offload hay out of the dryer into the um, I lost my train of thought here I can't talk into the uh, out of the dryer into the bale storage because it gives us square bales back if we want to spawn bales so that's what we'll do yeah so I'll get this um, bailed up then move on with uh, what I said previously we'll take a look at the apple trees and then quick little ride around the map to see how things have progressed and to show you some of the stuff I'm working on and then we'll call it quits on that episode All right. I'll see you when I'm done bailing all right everybody we have all of the hay is off off the field so that is done uh, the tree the apple trees are finished as you can see the leaves are gone all the apple oh, there's one apple left there um, but for the most part uh, the, all the apples are done so we're gonna pick up these these boxes and and take them to market now I have the auto load trailer turned on so we're just gonna do a little bit of tossing the apples here this is a cool little trailer that, that uh, came with the trees I don't think and I, I hate to say it but I don't I don't think the trees are public I, um, these were kind of a gift to me from a friend of mine so and uh, I, I respect modders wishes to, uh, if they don't want to share stuff with everybody I think that's their business I know some people get upset about that kind of stuff but um, I don't because I don't mod and I don't I don't I've done a little bit of modding like in 17 I can made a uh, a bale trailer work for the mini bales and that was it that's all the mod, and that was just XML edits. So that's kind of my limit to modding or XML edits. I've played around with GE a little bit, and no, thank you. I can't do it. I'm not good, like some of these other people are. So, but yeah. Oh, we missed. There's one, and I think that's the last box of apples. Each one of these has a uh, hundred liters give or take. All of our apples just fell out all over. So how many boxes do we have? What, 9, 10, 11? So 1,100 liters. And I think at the shop, it's by the tons, so I couldn't tell you. And the price is dropping right now. But they're apples, and we have to sell them while they're fresh. So that's what we're going to do. This spring, uh, I'm going to work on this area here. We're going to put in, I'm thinking a chili pepper farm. I haven't decided yet. Um, let's do this real quick. Let's turn work mode off. Let's unload. Let's put our straps on. Oh no, they don't go over the apples. That's all right. It'll still hold it. Take these apples down to market here real quick. All right. This tractor is loud, or is it just me? It might just be that my sound is turned. Turn this down a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. It was loud, rumbling in my ears. All right. So, let's see what we get for these real quick. It's not a very far drive down here. I haven't done any. I've taken some trees out through here along the river. Just kind of open this area up a little bit. That's about all I've done there. Um, when the when it gets cold enough, all this will freeze. That'll freeze. These little ponds over here will freeze. So, so we have this area here to expand. Probably going to put a BGA in at some point. Haven't quite decided yet. That's probably what we'll do. So much stuff to do. Uh, 
All right, let's go in here to the loading station at the dock. Let's see if these sell off of here. They do. The little apples are disappearing. Let's see how much we get. $875. Woohoo! <laughs> well, uh, now that we're rich, we can... It's no biggie. I, it's still fun. And in real life, I don't think you would get that much for all those apples. I think $875 for 11 boxes of apples is probably, <laughs> probably really good money. Uh, when you think about it. But uh, those apple trees are pretty slow producing, and as they should be, you don't want them to. Uh, I don't know. I just some some production stuff like the sawmill up there. I need to. I really need to get into the map files and slow that down because it it just produces so much stuff that it's almost a headache to keep up with. But, all right, um, we're gonna drive this back to the orchard, and then. I think after that, we'll take a look at uh, some of the stuff that I've worked on. Uh, the little beekeeper area, 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 we'll walk around and look at it, and then I'll look at a uh, new road I put in, and what I think is going to be our next expansion, probably a little poplar farm. Uh, I just haven't played with poplar much, and now is the time to do it. We are... About 10 months away from FS21 if they stay on the same release schedule as they have in a while. So um, it'll be here before we know it. And I'm trying to get in as many features of this game as I can. That way I can experience all of it. All right. Well, I will catch up with you when we visit the beekeeper. Talk to you in a second. So here we are. This is the beekeeper's home. Uh, I don't know what we'll, we'll call his. We, we don't know his name. But he, uh, he wants some manure for his, uh, his uh, greenhouse here. So that's what I thought we'd do. I had some extra down there at the vineyard. And I thought, well, he's not wanting it. Let's put it in there. Except the trigger on this is kind of touchy. And I, I don't know if it's the trailer or if it's the actual... Um, I had this. Let me make sure I got it. That's probably why. What I need to do is uh, get the beekeeper like a little skid steer. And then have piles of manure up here. Yeah. Just another vehicle on the map. There we go. I knew it was kind of touchy. That's it. That's all he needs is just a little. And we'll bring some water up here for him too. I'll cut it off the engine. So this is the green. Every every one of these mods that right here you can get from the in-game hot hub, except for one, uh, the modding welt uh, hoff pack, which you can get from modding welt. Uh, just go to their website. Uh, but here's a little some deco stuff. Like I said, I put the greenhouse in. It is functioning. It does work. I didn't check the doors. Do the doors work? No. This is just the basic one, uh, basic greenhouse pack. Uh, back here we got some flowers and a well, which is the actual water trigger, but we'll just use it as a well. A swing set for the kids. The little yellow truck, which I thought went really, really well <laughs> with this little house. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, the big bee house. And then a couple little ones here. And then we take our little path up here. Uh, down that way is the fishing hole. Right here where the log's at. Sit on the log and do some fishing. Contemplating life. <laughs> and then I don't know what this is. It's like a little, you know, hunting stand or, you know, when the deer creep out. I don't know. I just thought it kind of went well up here in the corner. And this corner was bare. And I was like, ah, that kind of looks rusticky and woody. So that's what I did there. All right. Uh, nothing new really here over at... Uh, the sawmill uh, trees still haven't grown yet, which I know they take a long time, but I, I'm curious to see how those grow. We got plenty of saplings here. We got what, 23,000 liters, so 
Is that five, six? I don't know. Tons of pallets. Uh, this is full. It's actually out of fuel, so I need to come put some gas in it. That's for the wood chips. Like I said, I've got a bunch of timber I need to put here, but what I've been working on as we speed over here. So I put a road right through here. Um, instead of having to go up and around and then back down. So this is a really nice little road. And then I'm going to clear each side of the road here. Uh, we won't clear this, of course. This rock formation will leave and we'll leave the trees on top of it. Um, but I cleared all this. And I think what I'm going to put in between here, in between these little roads here, is a poplar farm. And that's, um, I think that's what we'll put up here. Um, it's a poplar kind of poplar farm um, I'm not quite sure I, I also want to do horses so I've thought about maybe putting horses here and then a little oat field just a I mean you know just a little a horse here in area here in the back and then kind of bring the road up through the middle and plant oats on each side for the ho horses because we have plenty of hay that we have down at the sheep farm so you know, I'll just bring the road up this way and maybe just kind of split it off wide off right here and then we'll just plant all this area in between with oats I think it'll look pretty neat I haven't decided yet um, these logs won't go away but that's okay it's fine so that's what I thought about doing I am quite decided I do want to do poplar so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put rows of poplar here and I'm going to do them uh, probably two meters, or however wide the plant, the poplar planter is. Where's that at? at? That's forestry equipment. One meter. One meter. So we'll probably just do one row, and then a gap, and another row, and a gap, and another row. And then when they're ready to harvest, we'll just bring the bio baler just right through, offset it, so that we can drive the tractor down the middle and bale up the poplar. I think that'll be fun. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Take an aerial view. Oh, come on, Raz. Get together. All right. But yeah, like I said, I think I think we could put a little horse. I mean, we don't need a very large area. A little horse place here. In the corner. Like I said, we'll bring the road through here. Um, I can kind of clear some of these trees out and... That way we have plenty of room for some oats. And then um, maybe like a little storage shed right here. I don't know. Set poplar down through here. And then we'll probably uh, plant more trees, just regular trees in this area. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. That's it. So that's what I've been that's what I've been doing. And then this big area over here, uh, eventually we'll get into the arable farm. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do mainly potatoes. Do potatoes. We might do a couple other crops. Haven't decided yet. Maybe potatoes and sunflowers. I've never done some. I, I mean, there's no reason to grow sunflowers. So maybe potatoes and sunflowers. And uh, set up like a, I don't know. Or maybe we just do all potatoes. Like a massive million dollar potato expansion. That, that would be pretty cool. All right. Thanks for coming by, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think about my plans. Uh, let me know if you agree, disagree, uh, so forth, so on. See, because we can put oats in this little section, too. Like, we could have a bunch of these little tiny oat fields. And a little harvester, like a like an old, junky harvester. I think that's what we'll use. That's what we'll use. We'll just kind of keep the little small motif going on. These little these little farm areas. All right. Everybody take care. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.